Hello everyone, this is Rahul Pawar and welcome to my YouTube channel, Express Your Data. In today's interview scenario, we are going to find out how to create a profit and loss filter. But the challenge part here is how to add an all filter also to that existing thing. Okay, so without wasting much time, let us get started. And if you are new to my channel, don't forget to like, share and subscribe because regularly we'll be discussing, you know, interview questions and interview scenarios in this channel. So, like you see on my screen, here is the requirement. Okay, so if I select profit, it should show only profits that I have. And if I select the loss, it should show only losses that I have for that particular thing. And then when I select all, it should show me the entire data. That is the ask here that was given as an interview scenario here. And I think I got this question from a couple of subscribers. So I thought of making a video here. Now let us get started. And uh, first thing that I'm doing is I'm creating a filter here, or sorry, parameter here. And I'm writing it as uh, select profit or loss. Okay. And I'm taking integer as my data type. So you want to try with a string data type, you can try it and you want to try an alternate approach also you can try this is just to give you an hint how we can do it here so i'm giving three numbers here or rather two for now and first i'm giving it as profit and loss two things i'm giving okay so click ok so if i click on the show filter or show parameter i have two values so profit or loss i can select now I'm just building a random view here using my subcategory and region. You can take whatever the dimension you want. I just want to test if my calculation is working. And because my profits are in positives and negatives, I'm considering my profit as my measure. So if you see, we have profits that are in positive and also in negatives. So both we have. Now we need to categorize. So we need to write a calculation that can categorize this and again, and it can assign as a profit or a loss okay now but the problem here is when i select the profit only the profit part of the view will show right or only the positives of this view will show and when i select a loss only the loss part of the view will show so in that case at any given point of time we can only have some part of the view and not the entire view right so that is the challenge here so we need to propose a solution here stating that okay we also need uh and another option where user can see the entire data. So for that, what I'm writing is P underscore select, see profit or loss. So I'm writing a simple case statement. You can try alternate approach also and that will help you learn uh, in different ways. So I'm, what I'm doing is I'm using when, one, then simply sum of profit greater than zero. Okay, and then when it is two, then give me simple sum of profits, which is less than zero. Okay, and I'm ending it. Let us see what will happen with this. And you can pause the video and comment me what would be the data type of this field when I create or apply. Let us see your understanding. Okay, so tell me, will it be a Boolean type or will, will it return the value of this? Okay, so you can type in the comment section and let me know. So I'm clicking on apply and if you see, it is creating a true or false data type or a Boolean data type here. Why? Because we have greater than or less than symbol here, which means it is comparing each of our profit value and checking whether it is greater than zero or not like that. Now, first accessories for central will come here into this. So 7,200 is greater than zero. Then it will print true value there or true value there. Next, again, it is minus 2,670, uh, sorry, 39. It will print f there so at any given point of time we can have either a true statement or a false statement i'm taking this and i'm considering only true from this because we want only values only those values that are satisfying the condition click on apply okay 
Now see here when I select to profit, only profit part is being perfect. When I select loss, only loss is being shown. But now you see at, at, at any given point of time, I can either select to profit or loss, but not the entire view, right? So I want that also to be, you know, uh, have an option. So for that, again, I'm going to my uh, parameter that I have created and I'm just writing a third option in this and I'm writing it as all. Okay, or maybe something like this, click OK. Now, if I go to my parameter here, you see all is coming in the drop down. But again, there is one issue here. I want my all option to be always available on the top and not at the bottom. So how can I fix this issue? You can go to this parameter that is there. Click on edit and I'm just moving it to my top here. Okay, so I'm placing it in the first option here. Click OK. But remember the number here, we are communicating with the number here. Okay, three. Now if you see all is in the first and then we have profit and then we have loss. Now let us edit, let us edit our calculation here. I'm clicking on this. Now we need to write a calculation for this. So I'm writing when it is three. Simply, I'm just clubbing my one and two, okay? And uh, click sum of profit greater than zero or sum of profit less than zero. Okay, so I'm just uh, ending it, okay? Now we got this, click on apply, okay? And now if I select all, you see, I got all the values here. So simply I can go and create a highlight table to make it look good. And this is how it is looking. Now, when I select only true profit values, it is showing only profits or displaying profits. When I select loss, it is displaying only loss and user will also have an option as all. So by default, you will keep it as all and publish it to dashboard and user will take it from there to see whatever he needs. Okay, so that's it from my side in this video. I hope you find this video useful. If it does, don't forget to like, share and subscribe. Thank you. See you in the next video. Till then, bye-bye.